Beginning at age nine, Kurt's childhood was spent on the Walters family farm in the La Plata Valley of New Mexico, north of Farmington. The Colorado state line was less than four miles away. Kurt's father, G.D., was an eccentric man. He practiced dentistry in Farmington, held degrees in agriculture and psychology, and had an extensive collection of many items, including various Bibles and hats. G.D. also held great interest in archaeology and horticulture. Kurt was fascinated when, one early spring, G.D. taught him to graft cuttings taken from rose bushes in Farmington to the rose bushes around their country home. The colorful blooms and wafts of sweet aroma of those roses remain a strong memory for Kurt with his family. Now, in his own backyard, Kurt enjoys painting the roses that Tom, his partner, so carefully nurtures. Painting these roses is an evocative reminder of the sweetest moments of Kurt's childhood, but also an homage to his gratitude for the amazing life that he enjoys in Sedona, Arizona. Redolent May, oil on canvas board, 18 by 18 inches. Kurt's first chance to visit the Gilcrease Museum in Tulsa, Oklahoma came on an unassuming summer trip. Young Kurt and his family went to visit his grandmother in Copen, Oklahoma in 1967, and the family stopped by the museum while nearby. Among the many treasures that Kurt was smitten with, a small 1921 oil painting of Rainbow Bridge particularly caught his eye. The painting was crafted by the great Western artist William R. Lee. The next year, for a book report in school, Kurt studied Zane Gray's descriptive encounter with Rainbow Bridge in Rainbow Trail. Since reading that moving passage, Kurt became determined to see that fantastic sight for himself. The Navajo Indians have considered the natural bridge sacred, personifying it as a rainbow that guards the universe. Documented exploration did not occur until 1909. This documentation led to its status as a national monument by President Taft in 1910. Quickly, tourists began the difficult trek via pack animals along the ancient Navajo trails to the fabled Rainbow Bridge. Those visitors included separate journeys by President Theodore Roosevelt and Zane Gray, both in 1913. Mass tourism began in 1964 with the completion of Glen Canyon Dam and Lake Powell Passageway at the foot of the massive arch. Finally, in October 2018, it was Kurt's turn to make this journey. He and his partner Tom headed 130 miles north of Flagstaff, Arizona, then rented a boat to navigate through Lake Powell. Kurt painted many sights as they traveled 50 water miles north. On the third day of the adventure, Kurt and Tom began a sunrise hike up Bridge Canyon. Lake Powell water levels were low. Drought life left this stretch of the canyon looking nearly as it had in pre dam days, as William R. Lee would have seen and painted it. Though burdened by the weight of his backpack, paint set, and canvases, Kurt hurried his step when he first glimpsed the massive arch. The incredible 275-foot arch spans the canyon walls, bestowing a breathtaking excitement. 290 feet tall, Rainbow Bridge is a fusion of Cayenta sandstone and Navajo sandstone. In Kurt's words, it is, quote, simply a perfect rainbow. Below is a carved sandstone channel and pools of flowing crystalline water that nurture the native plant life. Kurt captured this first encounter on a 14 by 14 inch canvas panel. Kurt saved his painting from Lake Powell and his study from that day for future reference. Now, 56 years after seeing William R. Lee's painting of Rainbow Bridge, it was time for Kurt to give voice to his own large-scale interpretation. Guided by the many paintings and sketches from his trip, he sketched a 40 by 40 canvas. After blocking in the color of the shapes he envisioned, he chose to add a stormy sky that he'd seen the day before his hike to the bridge. Kurt began working from the distant plains forward. Painting from left to right, working a la prima so the edges of the paint would blend softly, the structure of the arch became a silhouette to the sky behind. Kurt created the feeling of sun behind the arch and the perception of sunlight illuminating the carved edges of the ravine below. Kurt next brought forth greens and yellows of new growth and the gray-green of sage to contrast with the azure pools of water in the Stone Canyon Creek. Kurt leaves us standing in the shadow of the great rainbow. We too are summoned by his youthful notion. My youthful notion summoned, Rainbow Bridge. Oil on canvas, 40 by 40 inches.
When Kurt Walters was only 12 years old, the giant towers of the Chala power plant rose high from the desert floor near Joseph City, Arizona, next to what would eventually become Interstate 40. These coal-fired generating stations dotted the landscape of the West for decades, defining the West for all of Kurt's adult life. Emerging technologies are now retiring several of these mid-century marvels. Both of the plants close to the Grand Canyon are now gone. The Mojave Power Station was dismantled in 2005 and the towers of the Navajo Generating Station fell in 2019. Kurt created a small plain air study of the Chala Power Plant structure, which is due to retire in 2025. Kurt felt it was important to paint this Ed Memoir as a way to understand the passage of time. Ed Memoir, Chala Power Plant, oil on canvas board, 20 by 30 inches. To Kurt's delight, a series of spectacular storms crossed northern Arizona in the spring of 2023. In March, he was lucky to catch a cold front as it passed, leaving the rim of the Grand Canyon and much of its upper levels covered with snow. The rapidly moving cloud shadows and sunlight across the wet, dark plains mesmerized him. Kurt chose a view on the rim trail north of Mather Point, where bitterly cold wind gusts proved challenging to overcome. However, in the time-honored tradition of plain air painting, Kurt persevered and finished the painting on sight. Kurt says that the emotions that he felt while painting this Grand Canyon winter storm cannot yet be put into words. He believes that someday, after much contemplation, he will be able to express verbally what he felt while replicating the enchantment of the Grand Canyon in those moments. Until then, Kurt says, the painting can speak for itself. Enchantment reigns. Oil on canvas panel. 12 by 12 inches.